Okay, I'm gonna pick up where I left off. Uh, I'm going to assume that you've downloaded the most updated version of Tractor, your sound card, you have everything plugged into all of the USBs, that your CDJs are powered up once on, you know, you have your MIDI's turned on and you have your Tractor Pro open. Now you're concerned with how to set up your sound card and everything else that you need to get this thing going. You got to get your MIDI files in Tractor set up for the two CDJs. You got to get the mid the files in for the uh, Audio 4. Okay. There's a couple things you want to open up the service center. It probably will open up once you turn on Tractor Pro for the first time. And once you open up that center, it's going to walk you through a setup. If you're not sure about certain information, then go back to Native Instrument so you can get more information about the center. There's the service center. That's what it looks like. This is how you're going to register your Tractor Pro or your Tractor version. Um, you're going to go in for your settings. And it's all self-exclamatory. It explains it. It's not hard at all. The support system, uh, your overview. It shows you what you have, like I have Tractor Pro, it's activated. If it's upgrades available, you can click on that and it'll show you what the upgrades are. Uh, here go all of the updates that I've downloaded recently. Uh, and again, the activity, it's my system, all products are activated. If you get a different message, then maybe your files that you downloaded aren't there. You need to check it to make sure. That's what the service center is for. The service center pretty much helps you set up uh, and to make sure that you have the most current downloads. Um, the help feature is really important because it's got the manuals there, it's got your downloads, it's got everything. Uh, and the startup wizard is what you want to open up to. The startup wizard will walk you through to make sure that you have your folders, uh, what kind of CDJs. Unfortunately, Amer uh, Tractor and Tractor Pro, they don't have any MIDI files for the Radius 1000s. Um, but it will ask you if you're using an internal mixer or an external mixer, um, what kind of sound card you're going to be using. If it's listed, click it. If not, just bypass it. This way you can just walk right past it. You don't really need it. You can set it up manually when you get your system turned on. So now we're going to have Tractor Pro turned on. MIDI controllers are turned on, mixer, everything is set up, everything is powered up. What you want to do is here in the top right corner uh, next to the Native Instrument logo, you're going to see um, four little squares that have, one has like a magnifying glass, one has a star, one has an eye, and one has something that looks like a placemat. You want to click on the star and the star opens up your preference window. This is the base for everything that you're going to do in Tractor, Tractor Pro. Um, you have to go into your preferences to set everything up. Might as well start at the top and work your way down. When you open up the first, it's the audio setup, and it's for your sound card. Now, if you have your Audio 4 hooked up properly and it's connected USB-wise, when you click on the download, when the uh, drop-down menu, it'll say built-in sound card, which is the sound card for your laptop or the Audio 4. Of course, I have the Audio 4 hooked up, so I'm going to click on it. And then once you click on it, it automatically has a, a preset for your latency and your sample rate. Don't touch that. Leave it as it is from the factory for now. You only adjust it if need be. Your output. Now, I'm working with an external mixer and everything that I'm using is external. Nothing I'm using is internal. So, of course, I click on external, you can see it's yellow. If I was using internal, it'll light up here and it makes changes to Tractor Pro immediately. But I'm using external, so I click external. Your channel outputs, depending on how you plug everything up, uh, you have four channels. Channel 1, 2, 3, and 4. Channel 1 is left A, channel 2 is right A, channel 3 is left B, channel 4 is right B. You'll see that. You want to put them in order and sequence depending on how you're going to hook up your sound card. 
your input routing, your input routing is what's coming in. Okay. So you have an output router and you have input routing. Now the same thing, my output for channel A and channel B is uh, one left, two right, three left, four right. Okay. MIDI clock, I don't use my MIDI clock. Uh, loading, I left a lot of the presets that track the pro setup standard. I didn't change a lot of it because I didn't have to. You can play around with it later as you go. Um, the mixer that's listed here is pretty much the mixer that you're going to see on Tractor. You can change these settings to have your mixer on Tractor look the way you want it to look. The effects, there are a lot of effects. Um, you get to play around with these the way you want. You get to have access to all of them, whether you're using two decks or four decks. Me, I'm using two decks. Uh, and uh, I restore my parameters um, back to the standard settings whenever I change through my uh, sound effects and I'll show you what that is later. Uh, recordings, I'm recording from an external source which is basically I'm recording through my mixer um, and it goes into my sound card and then into my computer. Um, you'll be able to figure that out as you go. That's something that we don't really have to worry about right now. Uh, file managing, data location. Data location is where your music is. Um, is it on an external uh, hard drive like I have? I have files on my laptop, files on an external hard drive, files on my iPod. It's all external. But this basically, you just want a root directory where your files are, where your music folders are. Um, your layout manager, uh, this pretty much, like I said, will set up what the layout is here. Like for instance, um, I have a few of these checked. I don't need my crossfader checked. If I click on the crossfader, the crossfader shows up. You can play around with this so you can see what it does. It eliminates or it adds certain things so that you can have your layout set up the way you want it. Pretty cut and dry stuff. Deck details. Um, I like a full deck so I can see everything that's on the deck. Um, of course, you, like I said, you can click on them and you can, you can make adjustments. Tractor Pro is really friendly so you can actually get in there and set it up the way you want to set it up. Browser details. Your browser is here underneath. This is where all of your music shows up, what the album artwork looks like, uh, what the preview player will look if you want it on or off. You know, it says cover art, uh, playlist favorites. It, it pretty much lets you set your playlist area up the way you want to set it up. A lot of this is pretty self-explanatory. It's not hard to figure out. A lot of the factory settings are fine. Just leave them the way they are until you get the system up and running. Then you can play around and make changes. Most important part right now that you want to get ready for is um, adding your MIDI controllers into the control manager. Control manager when it opens up is going to say uh, at the very top for device it is a generic keyboard. What you want to do is uh, first click on that to check to see if anything else is listed inside of there with the generic keyboard. If not don't worry about it. What you want to